Good day! It's me again! I'm Sarina Ayhuño from Lazaro Francisco Integrated School, your teacher presenter for Teleturuan. Now kids, I have heard a short story. So please, listen well. The title of the story is Who is the Best? Mang Cardo and Mang Pipito are neighbors. They were both industrious, but they lived differently. Mang Cardo usually segregated the garbage produced by his family. He recycled the tin cans and plastic bottles. Some are made as vegetable pot for his urban garden. While Mang Pipito kept throwing his garbage in the river, or sometimes burn it on his backyard. What can you say about Mang Cardo's action or attitude toward the environment? Very good! He is a great man because he protects the environment. How Mang Cardo protects the environment? Excellent answer, kids! Because he changed, recycled some garbage material into something new, which is useful to our environment. What can you say about the actions of Mang Pipito? That's right! He is very irresponsible man because he threw his garbage on the river and it may cause water pollution. Today, we are going to discuss the changes in the materials that are useful or harmful to our environment. Now, let us take a look on this picture. Can you identify the material? Is the material undergo changes? What are the changes in the material? Some changes in the material are useful or harmful. How can we say that the material are useful or harmful? Useful to environment. Materials considered useful when it serves a purpose, can be used for other purposes, and can be recycled. If we recycle an old tire, we can change the material into something useful in our environment. Remember kids that we always need to consider it to be considerate to our environment. So instead of dumping an old tire to dump site, we must think some ways to change the material into something new which could bring good benefits to you and to our environment. How can we say that the changes in materials are harmful in the environment? Yes, very good! If it brings hazard, pollution, or toxic in the environment. Did you know that cutting of trees is also harmful to the environment? It affects the quality of the air that we breathe. It causes rapid change in temperature. It also causes soil erosion. Let us think what are the changes in materials that are harmful to the environment. 1. Burning of plastic. Burning of plastic releases poisonous chemical that makes the air become polluted. Polluted air causes lung cancer and other respiratory diseases. Next, dump site. When land is dumped with garbage, the land becomes polluted. Polluted land serves as the breeding places for pests that carry germs, hence dangerous to human health. Water pollution. When the material is dumped with garbage of any kind, such as empty bottles, plastic, waste material from houses, and other industrial chemical wastes from factories, the river becomes polluted. If we drink water contaminated with germs, we are likely to get diseases. Polluted water also kills living organisms, such as fish and water plants. Let us think, kids, how can you make this material useful for our environment? By degradable waste, we can turn it into compost. Plastic waste, very good, we can recycle the bottles to make beautiful chairs. Old clothes, turn into a doormat. And an old tire, we can recycle to make chairs and tables. Remember this? Some changes in the materials are harmful to the environment. It may pollute the land, water, and air. To keep our surroundings clean or to prevent or minimize air pollution in our environment, 
People are encouraged to do the five R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle, repair, and rock. Now kids, let us check if you have learned something in our lesson. Check up time, put a heart if the material is useful, and X if the material is harmful. changes in the materials, whether useful or harmful to one's environment. Burning of plastic, harmful. Composting, biodegradable waste, useful. Throwing garbage into river, harmful. Burying expired medicine into the soil, harmful. Recycling plastic bottles, useful. As great for pupil, what can you do to help prevent, minimize, the harmful effects of the changes in the materials to the environment? Very good! If you apply in your daily life the 5 R's, you already helping our environment from harmful effects of the changes in materials. Correct! If you become mindful and considerate to our environment in your every action, remember to always think first before you act. Think if the changes in material can affect the environment, whether it is useful or harmful. There you have it. I hope you have learned a lot from me. Goodbye kids. Take good care in our environment. Bye-bye.